talk, coffee talk, coffee talk. I I want it in English. Sure. I could do it in German probably. Todd G. It's got your kind of music in it as well. It's not my kind of music, wait. Name profile. What's your name? You can use the keyboard for this one. Game Endless Extras. I've got an achievement for fucking Seattle 2020. Coffee shop, a place that is only open when their son is sleeping. Yes, boss. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Oh, there's a coffee shop called Coffee Talk. <laughs> Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Actually, Not happened think, yet. From now on, I think I'm just going to put you on weird games.
fuck is this game? Why is Ashley playing it? for fucking random people. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's, it's not that I hate stories for the newspaper. It seems like the right time for something to be new. Yes, uh, yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go up. Right. <laughs> 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 Did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know, who owns the evening whispers? Gra, media, right? Yeah. And our also biggest book publisher in country. So when opportunity presented itself, it took it. What do you mean opportunity? What do you mean opportunity? That was a question. That was a question. Well, I want to shag you. I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator and I sucked his cock. So naturally I pitched my book idea. Dot 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 Come on, don't look at me like that. My vagina's not that scary. Are you are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know it was such a stupid thing to do, but I do love cock. <laughs> so, 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 so how did they react? <laughs> Thankfully, he seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If 
I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll put, pull some strings on the underwear and get friction publishing division. I know. To sign me up for publishing deal. Ooh, me crabs. That sounds great. What about your job at Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part! He's beeless! I've been secretly wanking on the novel during office hours! And I'm falling behind on newspaper deadlines! If she finds out, she'll probably kick me in binge! In faff! Ouch! Well, at least you've got a book to finish initial draft. That was last week! Dot dot dot. Again! Don't look at me like that! I'll, I'll wear knickers next time! How far along are you? Uh, I'm not pregnant, you fucking cunt! I assume number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude, just like me faff. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Well, I haven't shaved in days. It was so fun. <laughs> Well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. Oh, I didn't want to start it all, but... Dot, dot, dot. So, zero. Oof! Yeah. I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use an extra week to polish turn and do some editing. Sounds like plan. If you can pull it off though, bet you can pull me off love. Ooh, I know! You don't need to be so cynical about it. I'll tug you any time! That's why I'm here today. <laughs> I'm hoping to find some inspiration from your cock. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place is to be of service, even though you were our first customer and we'd only just opened for the first time. Oh, it looks like someone's coming, dirty bastard. Welcome, you horny bitch. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For, for here, miss. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though, as I'm pink. What do you recommend? Two fingers up, two fingers up, asshole. Depends highly on your mood, though. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend! Get the fuck out then! I'm not planning to be awake all night! So definitely no coffee! Well you've come to a coffee shop! What the fuck? How about something chocolate It's perfect for this weather, you slag! That's a good idea actually! Thank you! Strange Yorkshire woman! You're welcome! Ooh, I farted out me faff! I'm smoking! I'm gonna die of cancer! <laughs> Anything with chocolate in it, please! Oh, okay. Let's go. Choco powder. Milk. And more choco powder. Brew it up. Chocolate! Save it! One 
cup of chocolate. In what one cup of chocolatey goodness? Thank you. Now I've got a shitty lip. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend, are you? Yes, he should be here soon. No, he's probably stood you up, you dirty bint. Look at you now! You went from empty to three customers in one night! Oh, am I getting me faff touched? I thought this place would be more crowded because I'm thick as fuck! Considering it's the only car flash coffee shop that's still open after midnight round here but I come for a hot chocolate because I'm a fucking idiot because only difference in coffee shop that still open past midnight is burner now what now that you mention it is it good for business having the cop shop only open at night definitely not well, how else would I get sluts like you from the street that have been prostituting? <laughs> yup, what she said. That's why! I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour and a good running in the back. That's fascinating! Because my name's not the shoe! Pardon me for asking! But how can you supervise running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Like where have it in your undies? Captain Beetle, he is damn rich. That's the secret. Oh really? I might ditch my boyfriend for you then. She's exaggerating. But not about the size of me dong. Don't worry about it, Captain Beetle. Can manage! I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. He gives a good job and a masseuse. So he'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear! By the way, are you regular here? I don't have, really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. What's the matter? Oh, no wonder. <laughs> She's a pretty good... I'm guessing no one's watching. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! That's me first! Wow, that's really interesting, said Thomas. What kind of things do you cover with mayonnaise? I cover people. Personal interest in a weird stories like a finger up the arse. I also contribute to their short stories. Because I can't read factual stuff because it gives me nightmares. You wrote those stories? Oh, oh, wow. oh thank you. Oh. I wrote most of them, but not all. Only the ones about me first. Too busy talking shit. Put the fuck out, you dirty bitch. Don't you know it's no smoking? Well, I don't even know what to write about. Probably you and your horny smoking bastard face. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there! Hello. Ah, would you like to order 
with something then? Ooh, you will a large bastard, I don't know, surprise me! What kind of an order is that? <laughs> well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preference? Uh, something bitter to keep me away with milk. Oh, I'm gonna draw some latte out of the top. A latte. Green tea latte. Green tea latte. Bitter. I was supposed to draw a penis, but I just skipped it. That won't help me stay awake. But at least you got the milk. Anyway, I was distracted by... I... Plus there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. Hi, my name is Lua. Hi, I'm Rachel Moon. <laughs> also known as Freya. Nice to meet you both. I'm Captain Vitro. Freya the Faf! Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for Evening Whispers? Oh really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? Some prostitution? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator, so I draw big pictures of penises. I've done some character draws and infographs for the paper, like a picture of Hitler with a penis on his head. I assume you were in contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh really? He's a bastard to me. Bailey's. No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. I don't know why I've suddenly developed a list. <laughs> but I've got a list now. What's the worth? Yeah, I'm glad he's got the design and visual department. I wouldn't be able to start working with him directly. His cock's too small. Ah, come on. <laughs> he's a tough deal, with, but, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course he is. I fucking hate him. The nuts! No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer at hell. It's like me fucking faff! How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only, the only way to deal with bad customers late at night are lots of drinks or criminals. I don't even know what that said. That sounds really bad! Ah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists! <laughs> Oof! Fist me, daddy! Not as good as your coffee making skills. Pour that coffee all over me, fam! Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome! Anyway, I really need to start wanking. Whatever it is I'm going to wank about. 
So I'll leave you two in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barrister. What are you going to write? I said fuck off! Oh, not far. Just over that table in corner. Now fuck off! Next to the windows. So when I fart, I can't smell it. That's the good spot. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Fuck off, you need dad. Hey, he, hi. I'll try fingering. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Thanks, you dirty Irish bastard. Comes back on me tits. Other seats too. Why would, why would I not? This is hilarious. Ah, this gear is good. Mm. Okay then. <laughs> oh, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office and come for a coffee and talk to a man about coffee because I'm a fucking greed hard. Plus my boss was in a really good mood all day because I climbed under the desk and sucked him off. I thought your boss would always go a happy lucky person. Well he is because I'm good at hand jobs. But today he was happier than usual because I gave him a blow job. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much.